What's happening guys? Safety Liner C2 here. As you can see, there are two boxes uh, sitting here waiting to be unboxed. And both of them are pretty unique uh, bus wearables. Neither of which I had ever seen before. So, you know, that means that uh, I had to have them. Uh, both pretty, pretty unique in their own sense. So, uh, we're going to take a look at both of them here once we get the... There we go. Got that one open. So... Let's take a look inside this first box here, and as you can see, let's see, we have a Bluebird TC2000 Ari hat in this bright pink color. Uh, so first off, I was surprised to see a TC2000 Ari, um, anything Ari, for that fact um much less a bright pink cap um i was i was genuinely surprised to see this so based off of this specific bus style we're taking a look at uh the early 90s is when this hat would have come out and this is a very uh thin material uh might add in this little netting right there but yeah so early 90s um when the tc re was first introduced and I, I guess I see more stuff for, for TCs than for TCREs. So when I saw this hat, again, in this bright pink color, which uh, the camera's not really doing it justice. This is a lot brighter than it uh, than it's showing. But uh, when I saw this, it's I, I've never seen anything like this. And, you know, bad to have it. So I think you probably know that I wear hats in all of my videos. I've been doing that forever. So I think that it's appropriate that we change the C2 hat over to the TC hat for the rest of the video. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, there it is. I don't think I have much more to say about this other than it is still really bright and this is what it looks like on a person if you were curious. All right, so the only thing I have is that the material on the hat is very, very thin, like I said, and I'm surprised that it doesn't have any tears in it or anything because this is, you know, 30 years old. So I don't plan on doing anything to it because it's going to be uh, collectible to me. But I feel like because it's so thin that this would be a really nice hat to wear uh, uh, on a hot day just because it would be very breathable. So this item right here is yet again something I've never seen before and I don't think I'm ever going to see again because it's uh, custom, I guess. All right, got that, and oh, they've wrapped it up all nice too. I can do this. See if we can see what it is. Can you see what it is now? Oh, no, not uh, kind of. So you might be able to tell this is a jacket and it says Lee Line on the front, which I assume was a local contractor. And of course, Lee Line is not the reason that I got it because I've never heard of Lee Line and I assume most of you haven't either. But what you have heard of is Carpenter and the Carpenter Counselor on the back of this jacket customized with Lee Line uh, lettering on the side. So this is just about the coolest piece of uh, bus clothing that I have. Uh, I, I, I don't have anything Carpenter because Carpenter's obviously been gone for a while. Um, this is just kind of like stickers. You can see uh, it's peeling off a little bit and up on here, um, which is totally okay. Uh, otherwise, it's in good condition. Um, but just a Carpenter counselor. I assume that this would be from New York because carpenters, there, there were a lot of carpenters in New York and I don't know why, but Lee Line Incorporated just sounds like it would be in New York, but I have yet to be able to find anything on the company. So if you know uh, about Lee Line Incorporated, please let me know. All right, and next up, obviously we gotta put the jacket on. It's getting a little cooler out. I'm filming this in November, had to 
throw on a jacket today, actually. I don't think I'm going to need one this thick, though. This is a pretty thick jacket, um, but it's actually very comfortable. Uh, Lee lines, right? The, or Lee line, whatever. And that is what the back of the jacket looks like. Um, yeah, not much to say about it. So there's a handful of pockets on this. Uh, we're just going to quickly look through and see if, you know, someone left anything in here. Maybe keys to a carpenter counselor. Uh, doubtful, but hey, if anyone does have a carpenter counselor for sale, uh, let me know and I will buy it and wear this jacket. And uh, yeah, nothing. What the fuck? So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Like I said, two very hard to find, very unique uh, bus wearables that I don't think I'm ever gonna have the chance to buy again. So uh, I am immensely glad that I got these and they're gonna make great additions to the collection. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down and care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up, or this pink is going to get really bright, and, uh, like, we're not going to be able to see because of it. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom. Show it to your dad. Show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching.